Baba Atomic Research Center is India's premier multidisciplinary research center which performs extensive and advanced research in the department of nuclear science and engineering related areas. BARC comes under department of atomic energy which is the tool of development index of independent India. From the day of its establishment till today BARC produced various path breaking results in the area of research and took the pride of this nation to the next level. Each year number of passionate engineers try to enter into BARC with the motive to do something for the betterment of this soil. This video provides complete details of interview process and guidelines to be followed during the interview. Hi dear students, hope you all are doing good. From the past few days, I am getting so many messages through Facebook as well as WhatsApp and YouTube. On a single question, sir please explain about BARC interview process as well as what are the guidelines we need to take during the interview of the BARC. So what I thought is instead of giving the reply individually to all the students I thought that it is better to take one video and post to all the students. So guys I request all of you next 15 minutes sir, please be focused I will try to cover all the guidelines which are required for the BARC interview and this video is helpful for all branch students that means even for mechanical students, EC students and electrical students and everyone okay. So, in, during the uh, course of discussion, I will also going to mention about my interview experience because myself, I uh, attended for BARC interview in the year of 2010 as well as in the year of 2011. Both the times I got selected but as I was too much interested in teaching by that time, so I took the teaching path. So let me come back to the interview point. Once you got shortlisted for the interview, you need to reach to the headquarters of BARC and after the orientation process, you will be uh, entering into the interview hall. They will going to give one uh, specific uh, uh, building. You should end, uh, go to that particular building. And you will be having so many interview panels. That means if you belong to mechanical student, I think around four to five panels are there for only mechanical students. And more or less it will be same for all departments. So once the moment when you enter into the interview hall, around four to five members will be there and sometimes the number may be uh, more than five also. So on an average six members uh, will be there in the interview hall and there will be a chairman and he will going to head the interview panel. So that means all the six members will be under the guidance of the chairman. So the moment when you enter into the interview hall, you will be given with a, a white paper and pen and a white board and marker also will be available to you. And the moment when you are sitting in front of the panel, first to four to five minutes, they will ask you very random questions. That is random question in the sense of generic question. Because the motivation behind asking the generic questions is they want you to be very comfortable in the first four to five minutes. Like uh, I, I am from Tirupati at that time, so they asked me the question like uh, how is Tirupati and uh, which location. Uh, so uh, you have studied all these questions, random questions, general questions. Once they felt that uh, you are comfortable with the interview panel, then they will going to ask a question. Please list out uh, what are all the subjects you are familiar. So they will ask to, you to write four to five subjects and you need to write four to five subjects which you are very much comfortable. So what my suggestion is, you need to understand this point clearly. BARC is considered as one of the high standard technical interview in India. So never try to bluff in the interview panel because it is always just uh, because all the people who are sitting there are the experts in their technical field. So it is always suggestible, please mention four to five subjects which you are very much comfortable, which you know very well. Okay. So every time, even I got this information from my past students, the first question will be on very much fundamental, very much fundamental in the sense too much basic you really feel very energetic once you answer the first question because first question is on basics. So for example, let me tell you uh, the questions which were asked to me in the year of 2010. Uh, as I am from instrumentation background, I mentioned uh, four subjects like uh, circuit theory 
and control system and instrumentation and transducers and process control and i also mentioned electrical and electronic measurement so the first two question to me at the time it was they have given a uh, one voltage source and one current source both are in series and these two are connected to a resistor of nearly around 5 ohm resistor 5 ohm value so they asked the question like what is the current that is driven into the 5 uh, ohm resistors then i clearly answered because it is a simple question in fact it is a fundamental question because you need not to do so many calculations uh, uh, in the um, for that question to solve because when you connect a current source in series with the resistor the current driven into the resistor will be decided by the current source but not by the voltage source this is a simple point and one more thing i want to tell you here barc interview panel is not worried about how many things you remember rather they are worried about how is your approach that means whether you are applying too many formulas or too many mathematics too much of mathematics to get a solution no prc is not at all interested in that actually they will look at about your common sense that means your intellectual capability whether you are getting the answer by using the common sense or whether you are getting the answer by using so much of mathematical solution okay so i strongly recommend don't go for too much of mathematics formulas and saying blah 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 and all these things just strict to your basics use your common sense and then answer to the question so that was the first question which was asked to me and once i completed the solution for that question then immediately they posted one more question just very vaguely like this one of the person in the interview panel asked the question like this dear student you are uh staying in particular home and you are using two bulbs and two fans and uh, two other motors you are having in your house and he just he uh, do the diagram on the white paper and he has given that the power rating of each and every device clearly and the way how they were connected in the house on a paper and he asked me a question tell us what is going to be the power that is required by the source so actually to solve that particular question you need not to use so many uh, network theorems and all these things basic common sense is required because if you have four loads in your home then the power taken by all these four loads some of the power taken by all these uh, four loads should be equal to the power delivered by the source then if you find the total power received by all these uh, different loads which are available in your home the net power delivered by the source should be equal to the power taken by the loads so this is a simple basic but if you start playing with the uh, i mean like uh, mathematics and all these things then it may become very complicated question this was the second question asked to me and if you look at in both of these two questions they were actually looking at how you are going to approach the answer not the answer real answer they don't uh, expect you to get the exact answer but they will look at the way how you are going to get the answer so the way is very important rather than the destination to which you are going to arrive this is the fundamental point you need to remember and they asked many questions because i given almost five subjects as the first question was basic so slowly they are digging the questions deeply into the topic because most of the times this happens when you are in the interview hall when you answer the first question you will be very much energetic and you will be too much you know like uh, uh, over excited and you feel that uh, you won the interview but the thing is the first question they will ask always basic after some time the interview will be too much deep so the second they ask some fundamental questions like i will tell you this question because this question is purely related to the common sense they uh, they asked me the question like there were two tanks one tank right side and one tank left side and the tank which is at right side it is almost around 8 m 10 m high tank which is at right side a uh, left side it is around 8 m height and the liquid layer in the first tank that means 10 m tank it was around 6 m and the liquid level in the second tank that means 8 m tank it was around 7 m that means 7 m liquid column is this side and around 6 m liquid column is this side then the first question they asked me is if both of these two tanks are connected by a pipe tell us which side the liquid flows see this looks very simple question because we need not to know what is the height of the tank what is matter for us is 
what is the height of liquid column this is basic common sense once you know the liquid column height then you can easily understand which side the liquid is flowing and I easily answer that question then immediately one more person who is sitting in the panel he asked me a question how you are going to measure the velocity of the fluid inside that pipe then they asked that I explained some sensors which I know then they slowly dig that uh, and finally they reached to the question which I was unable to answer because the, as I said in any topic first question is going to be basic and slowly once you answer they will keep on asking the question till you reach to a point where you are unable to answer then they will go to skip to the next topic and I also faced the questions like Bernoulli theorem and what is uh, the meaning of pressure energy how the pressure energy is really helpful in flow measurement all those things and I, I would like to mention this question also because this question is actually uh, related to both the mechanical students as well as instrumentation students they have given one pipe and they told that there was a sudden obstruction in the pipe and if you place the sudden obstruction in the pipe definitely it will going to create the pressure difference and how you are going to measure that pressure difference this was a question asked to me then I told that to measure the pressure difference you can use any kind of pressure transducer as a secondary device to sense that uh, differential pressure then they asked me please draw the diagram of that then I uh, drawn one YouTube manometer just below the pipe then one of the member in the panel he asked me the question is it possible to keep this manometer above the pipe because I drawn the pi, uh, YouTube manometer just below the pipe they asked the question like whether can you keep this uh, manometer above the pipe then I was thinking and uh, as I was a student by the time uh, so I, I remember like uh, yes uh, there is a chance that we can keep this uh, YouTube manometer even in the up, upside of the I mean top side of the pipe so that means there are two possibilities either you can keep the uh, manometer either above the pipe or below the pipe then immediate question which was asked to me is when you should place manometer above the pipe and when you should place the manometer below the pipe so here most of the students cannot answer because they just read, read the books and they just got the information here and there unless until you open the common sense you cannot answer this question it is very simple actually because if you are trying to measure the velocity of the liquid then manometer should be connected to the bottom of the pipe and if you are really willing to measure the velocity of the fluid I mean like air then you need to connect to the U2 manometer above the pipe because liquid has the tendency to come down and the air has the tendency to go up this is common sense right so this way you need to answer in the uh, entry hall so remember this guys BARC never checks your mathematical ability how many formulas you used how many derivations you used and uh, how many mem uh, formulas you memorized, uh, memorized all these things are useless to the BRC they just requires whether you have common sense whether you have the ability to think in a proper way and approach to the problem by using the sense common sense right and this is about uh, other questions which were asked to me and they also asked the questions like from uh, analog electronics like uh, what is the um, I mean they asked the question like what is instrumentation amplifier but the question is not direct question they asked first uh, we got very low level of signal how to amplify this way by eliminating the loading and all this stuff and they asked there was some questions from the active filter they asked like how to eliminate the noise then I, I said like uh, we need to use a filter then they asked me to uh, draw the low pass, I mean, low pass active filter. After that, immediately they increased the standard of the question. They asked that, please tell us about something about a second order filter. Then they asked the question where we need to use this one, like that. And there was one more question, this I want to tell you. Uh, in my correct CV, there was a point that my house is just opposite to the uh, water tank in our village so the chairman was reading my CV and he asked the question like oh your house is just opposite to the, your water tank then I said like yes sir that is true then he asked the question what is the length uh, height of that water tank then I explained the I mean I told that this is so and so then immediately the question is have you ever come across a situation to measure the water height inside the tank then I said no sir I, I never measured the water height uh, uh, in the water tank then he immediately asked me the question that what kind of sensor you can use to measure the water height 
in water tank see the way how they are asking the question that is more important rather than the question so that means many engineering equipment many engineering methods many engineering technology we are seeing all the day around us but we never focus on those things so actually if you focus on those things your engineering knowledge will be improved a lot okay so this is the way how they ask the question so almost the interview was around 1.45 hours that is 1 hour 45 minutes even first 10 minutes I was a little bit nervous because at that time I was a student but after 15 to 20 minutes of interview section the interview became like more or less discussion oriented I was giving some answers they were asking the questions if I am not comfortable they are helping me and they are making me to feel very comfortable such that they can get they can extract the maximum information from me this is what I understood and almost after 1 hour 45 minutes when I came outside I even didn't felt like I was there in the interview hall almost for 1 hour 45 minutes that's one of the good thing you will enjoy really a lot in the interview of BRC and what is the final point I want to tell you regarding the BRC interview is when you are mentioning your 4 or 5 subjects you should be very clear about the 4 or 5 subjects what you are mentioning and the second thing is never and ever try to bluff in the interview because you should know that they are very much experts in the field of engineering so never do that because most of my past students also done that they feel, felt like that is a lab viva or a mock interview don't feel like that because if because you need to know that they are the experts they can easily understand if you bluff them right so these are the two things you need to remember and the third thing is don't get stressed and don't be panic be relaxed and comfortable then only you can use your common sense because if you are too much panic and too much stressful then you cannot use your common sense okay be relaxed like uh, you are attending um, an interview with your friends okay so then if you are comfortable then your sense will open automatically so that is the way how it goes and be relaxed and don't be panic and they will help you a lot during the interview also these are the things what you need to remember before going to the interview and most important thing what I would like to mention here is again and again I am saying this point your mathematical ability to get the answer formulas this is not important your intellectual way basic sensic way that is more important clear and uh, last thing I would like to mention this because many of the students are asking me this question sir during the BARC interview BTEC final year project is really required to mention or not see if you are performing very well in the first 15 minutes then they might not ask you anything about your project they will keep on dig the questions and they will extract the maximum information from you suppose if you are struggling in the first 4-5 minutes then they may feel like uh, okay it is better to ask the project so they will ask the project and they will try to extract the information from the project side so if you really done your project by yourself then you should be very happy if the questions are from project and there is one more situation suppose if your project is very good and if you really done a very good project interesting project then there may be a chance they may ask some question from the project this is the uh, I mean these are the situations where you may get question from the project so these are the things you need to remember before going to the BIS interview I hope this session is helpful to you in the upcoming session I will try to post the videos exclusively for mechanical engineering students and again for EC as well as electrical and for instrumentation students what I request to you guys is next few days stay connected to me and utilize this opportunity thank you very much